Hi beauties, welcome to Lady Lay Tarot. Today's reading is about what is your purpose, what is your soul's purpose on this earth. I'm really excited to bring you this reading. I've always wondered this question myself, and I'm sure you're wondering about that too. So we have four piles with us today. The first pile is a stone here, the purple one. The second pile is this stone here. It's multicolored, brown, greenish, bluish. The third pile is this stone here, the light and the blue. And the fourth pile is this stone here. It's like a rust colored stone. See which stone you feel drawn to or which pile you feel drawn to. As I always like to say, if you're having trouble trusting your intuition, it may benefit you to roll the dice or virtual dice 10 to 15 times and see which number, one, two, three, or four, comes up the most before making your selection. And before we get on with the reading, I also want to say thank you to the subscribers. I really appreciate your support of the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Hi, welcome to your reading pile one. You felt drawn to this purple stone here or the card advocate. Okay, this is the one that came through while I was shuffling for your pile. And it is about inspiring you to put compassion into action. So it could be that one of your soul's purpose, one of your life's purpose is to advocate for those that need your help or to be a lawyer, to teach others something, and also to be a humanitarian or someone who helps the environment. Okay, but we're going to get several cards to see what else is your soul's purpose, pile one. So I'm going to take several different piles and shuffle them. The process of shuffling will be fast forwarded or sped up so that we can get straight into the reading without wasting much of your time. All right, pile one, let's get into the shuffling process first. Okay, pal one, your cards have been selected. So let's see what spirit is trying to tell you about your soul's purpose. We have the page of coins, AKA the page of pentacles. Idealism, health, the devil, The Hierophant, okay, Queen of Pentacles, Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Eccentricity, egg, success secured, assured with good plans and hard work, tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance, we have tree, affairs with your family,
Okay. We have the Magician. Let's get one more. Next to the mule here. Thank you, Spirit. Excitement. Okay. Let me fix these up. Okay, pile one. So I had to fix your cards up. I hope everything is um, crystal clear. So as we saw with your card for the pile, Advocate, you're supposed to be an example for people, advocate for people that need guidance. Seems like you would be a great fit for that. And interestingly, some cards also reinforce this message quite well, especially, for example, the Hierophant here and the Page of Coins the tiger so with the page of coins card um from the tarot of the divine let me see page of coins okay it's a swedish uh sammy deity this card is talking about setting goals loyalty positivity opportunities and manifestations so it's the, about the end of darkness uh, she represents hope setting up solid foundation and mental wellness okay so it could be that your area, your soul's purpose, that you have to bring mental health to people in some aspect. Uh, for example, you could be a YouTube blogger who discusses a mental health situation or improves the mood of others. And with this tiger here, you know, the tiger in uh, Chinese astrology is bravery. It's about doing something risky, as it says, taking a chance. So it's a fierce animal. That protects very protective bold brave not afraid to speak up so it definitely reinforces this message of being an advocate of protecting maybe animals even and also with this here font um so the here font this is from a lakota uh, north dakotan fairy tale it's about conformity compassion social approval tradition and legacy um it's a teacher who shares the rules rites and rituals to follow as a community for everyone showing that th there's a place for everyone in the community and she encourages support of the group um, the path well trodden as it says here from the deck that i got this card the tower of the divine and yeah she does remind me of pocahontas so if you, if anyone knows lakota um fairy tales please do drop that in my comments i love a native american history though i don't know much about it but um yeah from what i can see here it's like you're going to be a helper of your community helping to bring things together queen of pentacles also like sitting on your throne but what i see here with the health card and the queen of pentacles yes this reinforces the message that you're taking care of people's mental health and this is really specific, but for some of you, your soul's purpose could also be to um, help others feel beautiful. So it could be that maybe um, you're a hairstylist and that's how you serve this goal of making people's mental health better. No role is unimportant. Every role is important as long as we're serving people is what I believe in. So it's good to be selfish, of course, but being of service to the community, to people, and helping them in their mental health at least is extremely important. And you don't feel depressed because you're building a higher purpose than that of being selfish and just getting everything for yourself. And also your soul's purpose with the Queen of Pentacles is to have this abundance, to be financially sound, right underneath the health card. So just be an abundant queen to be appreciated by all, to be a leader in a leadership position. You see how beautiful she is, how regal she is. And it's interesting with this queen of pentacles, we have a lot of trees. We have that with the advocate card and the tree here as well. So trees are somehow very important to your soul's purpose. Maybe living in a setting where you're around nature a lot is important to your soul. And with the devil card here, another message that I'm getting 
with the devil card, the hierophant, and the magician, and the mule. To me, it looks like within your family or your circle of friends, there is a heavy addiction type of problem. Maybe it is like a generational curse within your family. So that may not resonate with everyone, but I have to see, but I have to say what I see here. So you have to break this pattern. It looks like it's going to stop with you. Notice how defiant this hierophant looks like it's going to stop with me. I'm going to not let this be a generational curse and the magician as well, like a manifester balancing all that was wrong. So you have the power to stop this generational curse is what I'm seeing. Also with the mule, like this has been a heavy burden on your family somewhat or uh, in your friend circle. So it says someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Yeah, so the devil is a card of addiction or very pathological ways of dealing with each other. And the Hierophant card is making me think of this being in the family or within a marriage because the Hierophant is about organizations. And yeah, the structure, the structure of family is what I'm getting with this card. Also, another sole purpose that I see you having here, Pile One, with the eccentricity, the Aquarius card, and the excitement, the Gemini card, is to really travel and get out there Maybe even see different countries with the, yeah, with the eccentricity card here. I'm seeing the water. And the Gemini card is also making me think that you have to, you have a message to give people. I think, yeah, he has a horn. Um, if you know what that is called, I forgot the name, you know, for that special type of horn where you give messages out. It's the first time I'm noticing that with the Gemini card. It's like you have a special, special message to deliver everyone. So it could be that you could be an author or someone who is a blogger of some sort delivering a special message to humanity or to a certain section of society, maybe having to do with mental health, addiction, or feminine powers, prowess. Yeah. And with the egg here, it reinforces the queen of pentacles, good plans and hard work. So, yeah, that's why I think one of your soul's purpose is to be prosperous. We have the golden egg here. So a certain project which is going to pay off um, handsomely for you monetarily. It's going to make you rich and uh, take care of yourself with the idealism. Another message that I'm getting with the idealism card. Again, we have Aquarius. So it's about getting out there, delivering your message. But another message that I'm seeing here is that you're meant to be pampered like the queen of pentacles that you are. So when you get with love interests, you're not supposed to be Bob the Builder chick, if you are female watching this, but you're supposed to be pampered by your man. That's one of your soul's purpose. So let's get a clarifier for this idealism and for this excitement. So one for idealism, please, spirit. Wow. Sun, happiness, and well-being. Exactly. I do see that. We have the sun here, the symbol for the sun. And this is also a symbol for the sun right there. Exactly. You're supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be pampered by your partner. Let me show you that again. You see um, this person playing the flute for this queen. She's comfortable. She's comfortable and uh, she's protected. So let's get another card for this excitement. Okay. Oh, that one flew over there. Okay. Younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. Okay. So that may be in the works for you as well. Maybe it's that you're supposed to have a son or your love interest is supposed to be younger than you. Okay, the man that would pamper you like this. All right. Oh, okay. So several flew out. Interesting, we have the purse land right here. Pay attention to your finances. Okay. So one of the things that Spirit is telling you is, yeah, your money is very important. Stop working so hard. Start working smarter, systematically with the next to the magician card here as well, 
Like you don't have to work hard necessarily to make a lot of money like a mule. You just have to work smarter. And okay, these two also came out. So I want to see which one. Okay, shields. You need to defend yourself exactly from working too hard, from yeah, being used for your finances by other people. Okay, so let's see what other card is trying to come through for this excitement over there, the last card. Okay, several flew out, but we just need one spirit. Okay, thank you. Marriage, okay. So with Gemini here, maybe your partner is meant to be a Gemini. But um, yeah, marriage is one of your soul's purposes, it seems like. Okay, so let's see what else is coming through for marriage. Okay, resistance. Hmm, I wonder why there's resistance. Maybe you have resistance. And companionship, okay. Hmm, okay. So there is companionship. Maybe your resistance is to anything that's not exciting. So your soul's purpose is telling you. Spirit is telling you that your soul's purpose is not to have Someone who maybe is a Taurus is one of the messages that I'm getting. It's very specific. But if not that, another message that I'm getting is that the person that is meant to be your companion should be exciting. So uh, don't settle for someone boring or, yeah, someone who's very traditional with the Taurus card here. The eccentricity. We have two Aquarius cards here. It looks like you're very... You're a very unusual type of person. You have special interests. So you have to marry someone who is also exciting. Yeah, that's your uh, marriage partner. Not someone who is um, resistant to your plans of helping people. Of being active in the community like you'd like. So those are the messages that I'm seeing, Pile 1, for your soul's purpose. If you resonated with this, I'd love it if you left me a comment. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in another reading. Have a great day. Bye, Pile 1. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to this multicolored stone with the uh, light blue, the blue, and the brownish grayish tint. Or the card that is underneath, the Samaritan. Okay. So according to this card, one of your soul's purposes is to refine your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. Hmm. Okay. And exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. Okay, so to help someone, maybe someone in particular or a group of people, to lift people up. Or it could be to lift a woman up or a child up because it does look like a child to me. But we'll take a look at what other cards are coming through. So I'm going to shuffle and see which cards are coming through for the messages that Spirit has for you on your soul's purpose in this life. So um, this process will be sped up. So we don't waste much of your time and we get straight into the messages of your soul's purpose. Let's get into it, pile two. Okay, Pal 2, your cards are ready. Let's take a look at what your soul's purpose is in this lifetime. Okay, companionship. We have health. Candle, you will be shown the way. 
Okay, King of Pentacles. Ten, two of Wands. Ace of Swords. Okay, younger man. Knight of Coins. It's also Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Mm, okay, Page of Swords. Domination. King of Swords. Mm. King of Wands. Okay, Cup. You should accept valid criticism. Coins <laughs> right underneath the King of Pentacles. How auspicious. And okay, we have excitement. Mm, we had that in pile one, and I did shuffle these cards well. So you may want to check out pile one as well. Okie doke. Okay, pile two. Wow. This is quite a pile. Um, it, the message is really clear. So we have so many business-like cards here. It's like you're supposed to be a boss. We have a lot a, of swords cards and pentacles. Coins is also pentacles. And even coins, again, pentacles. So one of the things I can say for sure, you have the Samaritan card. You're supposed to be of help to humanity. And you're supposed to be a leader. With the king of wands here and the king of swords someone who's decisive that's your soul's purpose knight of pentacles also um this is from the south african tale this is a warrior he's brave he's ambitious he's efficient hard worker um let's see in the book tear up the divine yeah it says heitsi aibib south africa if i'm pronouncing it wrong do let me know the Koi Koi Deity. Um, it's a diligent warrior who's willing to put in the work to set the world right. He can be as stubborn as an ox, getting into trouble for his efforts. He's strong, loyal, and determined in all things he sets his mind to. Okay, so that is your soul's purpose, uh, which is exactly like the King of Pentacles here, generating money, wealth, not just for yourself, but for a lot of people. And with the Knight of Swords, swords are, you know, about mental energy. And we have Page of Swords here. So one of your other soul's purposes is to study. Definitely, I'm getting academic vibes here. So to be informed about certain things. Maybe uh, some of you are in the medical profession. That would also support our Samaritan card. And I do see that you're like a candle showing people the path on how to see life as half full rather than half empty with the cup here and with the criticism it's also showing me that maybe you help people with their health health problems another message that i'm getting um if if this does not relate to you just discard but i have to say one of the other things that i'm seeing for some of you um a health problem that you're having in this lifetime could be like a chronic long-term problem is supposed to be is like meant for you in a way not meant forever but it's meant so that you could help people it's somehow going to be um, very therapeutic if you share that with other people and it makes you into a stronger human being it makes you more relatable so um if you don't relate to that please do discard but i just have to say that that i saw that message as well as this cards these cards were coming out 
So it's as though you're meant to have this certain condition, that you have this certain health problem that may be chronic. And even though it is a nuisance, like it, you're meant, you're meant to grow from this. You're meant to help others. And it somehow strengthens you, wisens, makes you wiser and makes you more ambitious, like stronger in spirit, I see. And with the companionship card here, what's really interesting to me is we have these figures looking to the left and to the right. And right underneath that, we have the two of wands, the card of Janus, uh, the Italian uh, folklore fairy tale. It's about um, like indecision. Let me take a look what else it says for two of coins here in our Tarot of the Divine. Uh, the two of wands, rather. Okay, so it says here, um, it's about decisions, travel, business opportunities, future planning, cooperation, or indecision, doubt, fear of the unknown, playing it safe. Okay, so it's about uh, travel and commerce, the god of doorways and transitions, able look, to look to the past and the future in order to make effective decisions. He's always in mo motion, connect, connecting dreams with actual possibilities. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, somehow having to do with relationship, relationships. Yeah, this is also the Libra card here. It's like you're going to show yourself or to other people what mistakes were made in the past and how to look forward to the future so learning from mistakes in terms of companionship is one of your soul's purposes soul's journeys here yeah this could be what it's about but let's take a clarifier for that okay so uh several flew out but we just need one or two spirit okay uh, three came out um wow okay so from that, we got two firecracker excitement and we have broken bridge. Wow. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Okay. So this is what that's about. Yeah. In the area of companionships, it looks like you have to go through uh, something hard or you had to go through something very difficult in the past so that it could take you from the past energy to the future energy. See? Yeah. So... Sometimes relationships are there for our soul's purpose. I believe um, most relationships are very necessary for our evolution, even though they are painful and um, they may not last. They may be a season and not a lifetime. It's because it's preparing us for success. Maybe even business success, I see here, because this is the card of business as well. Yeah, so in this area of companionship, you're meant to have excitement. You're meant to have experiences that teach you, that serve as like a catalyst moment for you, an aha moment. You see, even this is like lightning, like the firecracker here. It's like you're going to grow. Your soul is going to evolve from this. And um, yeah, that's what this, these two cards are showing you here. That's part of your soul's purpose, soul's plan. Also, what's interesting with the younger man, yes, I'm getting that education uh, theme as well, the academics, that you have to invest in yourself, study up, stay informed on certain things like certain trends, or if you're planning on being a doctor, a mental um, specialist, a health specialist, rather, you're supposed to study up on that. This is your life's purpose so that you could be of use to others, maybe even your child or yeah, to others in society, like your patients or clients. King of Swords, also, yeah, I'm getting kind of like psychiatrist, psychiatry, um, psychologist vibes from this card as well. Like, you're a great listener and you have a sharp mind. That's what the King of Swords is about. He can see the truth, see the raven there and the owl. These are very mythological and wise creatures. So you're meant to explore and think deep. Okay, we have the Leo card here, King of Wands, meant to be brave and pursue something exciting. Okay, I want to get some clarifiers for this. With the domination, what I'm seeing here is maybe you're also supposed to have a more religious, um, like a relationship with God or the universe. You're supposed to develop that. 
alongside your business acumen or your success because it does seem very probable, very likely that you will be rich. Your soul's purpose, especially if your north node is in a sign like Taurus or Aries, is to be rich. So if you know astrology, look at your north node. If it's in Taurus or Aries, um, yeah, this is a double confirmation that you're supposed to be working on your wealth and on your you know, monetary independence. So getting a lot of money. So let's see any cards for why we're getting this, um, this excitement card here. What this is about. Okay, so uh, several cards flew out and I'm going to take all the ones that flew out. Okay, two came out. So I'll take both. Bread, caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming mm, with your sustenance. Uh, period of prosperity and abundance. Okay. So something to do with your job is going to be exciting. That's what I'm getting. And this is the uh, card of like swords, energy, Gemini's of the mind. So maybe you're taking baby steps right now towards this career. That's going to bring you a lot of excitement and bread, uh, money, and helping of other people. Be very purposeful type of work, maybe even mental type of work. You see with the reading of books here. Yeah, it could be in the health sector. It could be like in the book sector, academic sector rather. Um, for some of you, it's religious. You know, it's going to resonate differently for everyone. But what you can know for sure is that you're supposed to be very successful, a leader role. We have many cards of leadership here with all of these kings of swords, Knight of Pentacles, King, King cards, and Domination also showing me that you're supposed to be a leader. And we have the spirituality. You're supposed to develop a, a closer relationship with God in this lifetime. Yes. So right now, maybe it's at its infancy. We see with the Caterpillar card. But something about your your um, work work will be very exciting. Okay, let's get one more clarifier for this um, excitement card. Okay, several flew out. I'm going to take one. Okay, for the caterpillar. Defense. Mm, okay, so for some of you, it may be that you're going to be like a strategist or yeah, work in <laughs> the defense department of your country. So that's a really specific message, but yeah, it's possible. But yeah, we have the defense card here with the excitement. Or maybe you're meant to work with a very dynamic team, as we see. But let's get one more clarifier. Okay, we have chair empty. This does look like a throne to me. Okay. So I do need one more clarifier, please, Spirit. Can you give us one clarifier? Oh, you gave us two. Okay, both want to come out. Dolphin, financial gain, and pineapple, reconciliation. All right, so, okay, Hawaii is one of the things that I'm seeing. It's reminding me of a tropical location, uh, the dolphin card as well. So for some of you, maybe marine biology. Um, it's very specific. And also the tropical colors of this caterpillar makes me think that maybe you're supposed to be in a tour tourism industry because these three cards are giving me that vibe. The spirit is trying to give you a message that there's there are vacancies and you should seek out maybe some type of work in a tropical location where there is sun and yeah pineapples like we see here. It's a very specific message, but I have to say that. And with the bread here, it's given me the message that this has to be your line of work, maybe the next thing for you with the excitement. So, yes, with a tropical location, could be um, Hawaii, I don't know, Tahiti, Thailand. It could be where you should head next, where there's sunshine, like a place of retirement. Okay, so these are the messages that I'm getting for your soul's purpose pile too. If you resonated with anything, please do let me know in the comments. And I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Pile 2. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. 
You felt drawn to this blue and white stone and or the card underneath it, which came out to be child nature. Okay, um, so this is what came out when I was shuffling for your pile. It flew out. It's uh, friendship with animals, communication with nature spirits. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is you're meant to be, one of your soul's purpose is to spend time out in nature or maybe protecting animals, wildlife, the planet. Yeah, or to be a natural beauty is what I'm seeing. Yeah, to be peaceful. But let's see what else your soul's purpose is on this life, in this lifetime. So I'm going to shuffle several decks. This process will be sped up so we don't waste much of your time. And we'll see which cards Spirit is bringing forth about your soul's purpose in this lifetime. All right, pile three, let's get into it. Okay, pile three, your cards are ready. So let's take a look at what is your soul's purpose. Okay, so we have isolation here. Knight of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords, okay, Enterprise, Three of Wands, Five of Swords, The Wheel of Fortune, okay, this Younger Man card, okay, Five of Pentacles, Five of Coins, Temperance, Two of Cups, okay, we have Influence, Forest, Muddled, Unclear Thinking, Versatility, okay, Success, Okay, Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Mm, okay, it's quite interesting. Okay, I need a clarifier for this. So let me get one more card. Okay, two came out for this pig beware of greed and family wishes come true can we fix this up pile three wow um i see several different messages here so i'm going to start with the first one that i see in your soul's journey so first off with this um, man card 
and beware of greed family wishes come true well and the five of coins the card of lack or poverty so i see in this lifetime you're supposed to have a relationship where yeah someone now this is going to sound weird but you're going to have to come across some bad relationships or a bad relationship for you to understand that you're not worth that and that if you want a family you have to stay away from men who take more than they give in fact um if a man gives you more financially and emotionally that's usually a great recipe for family so you know i'm sure you've heard of the saying that a man should love the woman a little bit more or at least he should be a great provider and with the five of coins the five of pentacles here what i'm seeing is you have this um lack mindset with the five of pentacles and this is something you you have to overcome in this lifetime that's on your soul's journey the sooner you overcome this lack mentality that you're going to miss out on a great guy even though he's um, as it says greedy here or acting like a pig the more that you're going to delay your family wishes coming true and getting the type of guy that you deserve who is a great person for you emotionally and as a provider so with the isolation card that is a warning and that is what spirit is telling you it, it's in your soul's journey to level up in life as you see with the um the wheel of fortune to understand your worth to clear that muddled thinking that you have and that worry you see even five of swords again here the card of anxiety worry like you've messed it up so one of the other messages that i'm getting in your soul's journey with the knight of pentacles and the three of wands you're meant to explore okay and this is a card of patience so you're meant to learn patience in this lifetime and to take things a little bit more slowly and to just observe people um so what this isolation card could also be telling us is that maybe you're an introvert that's also what i'm getting with this child nature card as well so it is actually in your soul's purpose that you're supposed to be a good observer of people uh, spend time alone or in nature for your soul's growth for you to feel better so I'm not seeing a lot of community cards here. And with this versatility, one of your soul's purpose, yeah, with the Gemini card here, is to be versatile as life gives you different things. So with the uh, muddled, unclear thinking, whenever you come across problems, instead of worrying, you have to learn some coping mechanisms and to be versatile and welcome the change because as we see with the Wheel of Fortune, it's in your life's path. And when you take a chance on exciting things that are unplanned, that you may be anxious about because they're new experiences or maybe something that you perceive as negative, you should not be anxiety ridden because it will turn out to be a success if you take a chance. With the Two of Cups here as well, what I'm seeing with the Enterprise, one of the downloads I'm getting with this Enterprise card is you're supposed to start your own business with the Aries card there. It's an innovator. And the Two of Cups, it's like you're supposed to wrestle that part of you, the devil side of you, that is uh, feeding into your self-doubt and it's causing you anxiety, depression. So maybe one of the things that you're dealing with in this lifetime is like anxiety or panic attacks. And the Two of Cups, your soul's journey is to overcome that negative thinking that you have in your brain. It's like that Lana Del Rey song, like um, there's a war in my mind uh, from that song Ride is coming to mind here when I look at these two cards. Yeah, the influence, you see we have the um, like devil or snake energy again. So it's saying that you have to overcome your negative thinking and yeah, to not be afraid to be assertive because these cards also give me the vibe that you have been afraid to be assertive, to demand more 
of perhaps your partners with the influence, like you let them influence you too much. You let them take you to places that you would not agree on, that you don't have um, maybe very strong boundaries right now. So one of your soul's purpose in this lifetime is to establish strong boundaries. Maybe your south node, if you know astrology, is in Pisces or in Libra. So that's why one of your strong purposes in this lifetime is to establish strong boundaries and to say maybe even stop, no, this will be my way. So to be more egotistical, selfish in a good way, because it seems here you're quite meek, even with this child nature, like you're very giving, too generous. I would say generous to a fault, especially when it comes to relationship, um, romantic relationships. You see the men in your life have been greedy, taking, taking, and causing you... Yeah, this matchstick girl, you see matchstick five of um, coins, which is pentacles, like being left out in the cold, a poverty stricken. So you have to demand more, the knight of pentacles too. That's a money card, the pentacles. You have to demand more. You have to learn in this lifetime. With the temperance and the arrow, it says you are on the right direction. So when you become more assertive, and more demanding and get rid of the negative self-talk that you have in your head about maybe not being good enough, all that worry that you have. And you learn to make peace with that negative voice in your head, not to listen to it. You see the card of temperance here. That's when you'll be moving on to success. That's what spirit is telling you here. So let's take a look at what other cards are coming through for the two of cups there. Okay, this one flew out um you'll be playing a different uh, role let's see what else okay these two came out um which of these okay october all right and so some of you may have been born in october where it's just talking about yeah the soul's journey because that card always reminds me of scorpio all right, and several flew out here. Let's see which one is trying to come out for the October card. We also have May and Love. Hmm, okay, yeah, the Two of Wands, or the Two of Cups, rather, is also a card of partnerships. So maybe Spirit is trying to give you a hint of this person's uh, birth month, person that's meant for you. Yeah, with the Love card here. So it's saying... Yeah, you will be playing a different role. Maybe this is the person that will be your spouse, someone born in May or in October. Uh, May is the card of um, Gemini and also Taurus. And October is Libra and Scorpio. So someone with those signs may be the right partner for you is one download that I'm getting. Okay, so let's see what else is in your soul's journey, what else spirit is telling you. Okay, impulsiveness. Hmm. All right. This landed next to influence, so I'll need one more card. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, resourcefulness. Hmm. Okay. So since this landed here, and uh, also next to the enterprise card, it's interesting because with the business card, yeah, it's saying save. One of your soul's journey may be to start a business. And with the impulsiveness and the influence card, I want to get a clarifier why we're getting that card specifically. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Tower, solid foundations, the building of foundations. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's giving me that Aries vibe. And we have the Aries vibe here again. So, yes, as we said, um, I see that your partner, as I had said before, uh, maybe this is a pattern or it has been a pattern in your life where you give too much power um, to someone else, uh, most especially a romantic partner, and then you end up suffering and worrying. And they take you some down some very dark paths. 
So with this impulsiveness card, it's it's telling you to not be in a passive role. See, we had that with the two of cups there as well. Like you need to be the one that is assertive if you want to build a solid foundation in your life. And that's one of your soul's purpose, like to learn how to be more assertive, how to be more brave, bold, and take chances on yourself. And that's when luck will come to you. And another message download that I'm getting with this resourcefulness card and this enterprise is that you should always have your own money. So when you're in a relationship, you should not um, spend a lot of money, especially if you're a female. Yeah, you should always save some for a rainy day. Yeah, and that'll give you power. Okay. So success comes with versatility, being able to change, being able to do self-reflection and heavy work to beat this anxiety that you have and to be at the top. This isolation card, what I got was maybe you need to be alone. You need some time to reflect also with the three of wands because it does seem like you are a vulnerable person. You have a soft heart. Or you could even be an introvert. I'm getting strong introvert vibes from this pile. And watch out for relationships where the other person takes too much and does not provide for you, is what I'm seeing with the Five of Coins Pentacles card. Don't be left out in the cold. So you have to save for rainy days, even if they never come around, and not give too much of yourself the anxiety work on your anxiety okay and your soul's purpose in this lifetime is to achieve balance so to get rid of this anxiety all right so pile three those are the messages from spirit about your soul's purpose in this lifetime i hope this was helpful if it was i would appreciate a like and subscribe see you in the next reading take care of yourself bye Hi, Pal4. Welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to this stone here. It's rust colored. And or the card that came through for this pile, which is rebel. Okay. So it seems like one of your soul's purpose is to challenge authority and affect social change. Okay. Um, and reject systems that do not serve inner needs. Yes. So to be like a change maker. But we're going to take a look at what cards are coming through for what else is your soul's purpose in this lifetime. So let's see what cards spirit is um, going to bring forth. The process of the card picking will be sped up and we'll get straight into those messages pile four. Okay, pile four, your cards are ready. Let's take a look at what Spirit is trying to tell you about your soul's purpose in this lifetime. Okay, Enterprise. Page of Coins. Queen of Cups. Eight of Swords. Affair. We have appreciation. All right, the lovers. Okay. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. And work achievement, success. The Magician, September, OK, 
Okay, Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person you should not cross. Negotiation. Broken bridge. The high priestess. Okay, and let's get one more card. Mm -hmm. The Nine of Wands. All right. Okay, one more card over there. Okay, the Hermit. Okay, pile four. So I'm getting uh, several different messages here. Or what is your soul's purpose? So one of the things that I'm seeing with the Eight of Swords and the Hermit card here. So the Eight of Swords is about the chains, the shackles. It could even be mental, of course. And with the Hermit, one of your soul's purpose is to get rid of the things that are binding you and your self-limiting beliefs and to be a more spiritual person, maybe even get into meditation, okay? So to understand why you are having self-limiting beliefs, maybe why you are chained to convention because we have the rebel as your card for this pile. So getting rid of self-limiting beliefs or conventions because you're shy Okay, and with the Queen of Cups, so this is from the Tarot of the Divine, and here we have Queen of Cups. It's a Nigerian uh, Yoruba deity folklore, represents the surface of the subconscious. The goddess Yemoja, I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly, connects those on land to the depth of the spiritual plane. She's mysterious, but also a kind and caring mother. So it's about femininity, warmth, empathy, a counselor, and intuition. Okay, so it's interesting we have the High Priestess here and this Queen of Cups is also giving me that vibe. So one of your soul's purposes is definitely to settle down and have a family with the uh, Romance card here, the Lovers. Yes, so that's going to be one of the most profound soul's journey experiences that you're going to have in this lifetime. It looks like perhaps becoming a mother or a partner to someone. Okay, with the affair card, yeah, with the love card here. The nine of wands is about burdens, you know, trying to uplift yourself from these burdens of the broken bridge. It seems like maybe you've had a tumultuous past, a childhood in particular, is what I'm getting here, like a youth. So overcoming those hurdles is going to be one of your life's missions here. And appreciating your talents and how far you've come along from that time from when you were young, even a child. In some cases, I also see here that one of your soul's purposes, if you are a musician, is to make music or to make art and to be appreciated for that particular talent. So to exhibit your talents, perhaps in an unconventional way with a rebel here. The Leo card. And we have the Page of Coins, um, which is Page of Pentacles. This is also about, yeah, let's take a look in the Tarot of the Divine or Page of Coins. Okay, so it's a Sweden Sami deity, um, B.A.V. Nieda. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, do let me know in the comments. It welcomes the beginning of spring and summer. Fresh start, the end of darkness. Mm, okay, so the end of darkness, the end of this um, winter in your life. Maybe your childhood was tumultuous is what I'm seeing here. Okay, and yeah, setting up a solid foundation and mental wellness. She's grounded and anticipates the bright future. So from being anxiety ridden with the nine of wands, having a lot of burdens on your back, you'll be transformed into someone who 
is grounded and anticipates bright future, optimism, setting goals, loyalty, positivity, opportunities, and manifestations. So perhaps, in, yeah, I'm also seeing for some of you that one of your life's missions is to become a teacher. Okay, I'm definitely seeing that um, imagery here is to become a teacher with the ram that's also giving me that vibe here. Okay, so to become a wise person, a teacher for future generations. All right, then we have the high priestess here. I see that you're very intuitive. Maybe you have a strong sixth sense. So developing your intuition is very important. And the magician also confirms that for me. So there's something very mystical about you. Yeah, for some of you, it's like telling me that you have some powers. Maybe you could try Reiki. Like there's some sort of power within your hands in some cases here is what I'm seeing, like surgeon and work achievement success with the tiger here. September could be referring to your birth month or I want to see what that is referring to as well. So let's get a card, a clarifier for the September, two clarifiers, one from, wow, okay, and two came out. Thank you, spirit. Okay, kite and we have feather. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, both imageries are one of flying. Okay, so let's get one more clarifier here for this September card. What is this referring to? Okay, romance. Okay, so maybe this is an indicator of, you know, when your relationship will start with this, with this uh, significant person who you're meant to be in union with or the month of their birth. Yeah romance card okay yeah something will be very light about this yeah with a feather here and the kite it's just something very light and beautiful i'm getting some sort of uh, rococo vibes like this will be you know how september is the month of the end of summer but also very mild beautiful climate so yeah, for some of you here, that's what I'm seeing. This is an indicator of this person coming into your life who's going to make you feel like everything is easy, gentle, maybe towards the end of summer. Or this person is born in September. They're a Libra or Virgo. So with the tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. Yeah, with that card, what I'm also seeing is that maybe this will be an unlikely scenario, like you would have never expected this person to be the one for you. Yeah, but it's going to pan out. Like you're going to take this chance. And the magician there, let's get some clarifiers for our magician card there. Okay, so we have persevere and you will overcome obstacles. Okay. So it's telling you that you are capable of overcoming any obstacles, any hurdles that you've had in your past. Like I said, I did see like you've had a heavy past, especially in your younger years, like when you were a child or teen years. So that's one of your soul's journeys to um, come into alignment with the universe here. As we see with the high priestess, it seems like you have a very strong emotional, intuitive sense that's untapped to like psychic. So let's get some cards. I'm going to take some from here. It's too unwieldy like this. So let me get one card from here. Okay. For the magician, what that is trying to tell us here. Sorry, for the high priestess. Okay. Funnel. Looks like a prize. Okay. Period of frustration. Uh, lessons to be learned, it says. And let's take... The next one. So, okay. Okay. You are on the road to success regarding some aspect of your life. You're on the right path. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So seeing that it landed near the tiger, you have to be bold and make a move. Looks like you're a ma master manifester here. You just have to persevere. If you see certain dreams, I'm seeing another download here, is that your dreams can actually predict the future. So pay attention to the signs of your dreams. 
And let's get one more card for the High Priestess. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So we have the Aries card here, the Impulsiveness. Okay, so take a step in this direction is what I'm seeing. It's like the Knight of Wands. Something about your spirituality you have to develop in this lifetime. This is your soul's journey. Like we said, with creative pursuits and also with your family, becoming a wife, mother is an essential part of your journey here and getting rid of the shackles. Maybe also learning how to negotiate. Yeah, how to balance perhaps yourself. So your individual self with you in a relationship because you know, sometimes we can become a little bit enmeshed with our partners, a little bit too codependent. So it's about balancing in this lifetime. You're going to be learning how to balance your individual time, your individual pursuits with your love relationships and kind of breaking the chains of codependency. Because while it's good to be committed, it's not good to be codependent. And we need time for solitude and self-reflection. You do have a strong sixth sense. And that's what you should be working on in your lifetime. That's your soul's purpose besides being a lover and companion. Okay, also with the ram and the lovers, I have to say here, um, it's similar imagery. So what I'm seeing also is one of your soul's purpose is to ground yourself if you're in a relationship with a stubborn person in your life. It could be anyone, like your mother or your father. So how to achieve this peace, how to learn how to work together with the ant with people who may not be the easiest of people to work with, who are stubborn. So what advice is Spirit giving you about that? So how should you do this in your soul's journey? So we have Discovery. Okay. And let's get one more card. What else are you trying to say, Spirit? How should... Pile number four, negotiate with eccentricity. Okay. So see where it takes you is the message that I'm getting with these two cards. We have the Aquarius or the Sagittarius. That may mean something with the stubborn person that is in your life, like a parental figure or a love interest. So you see we have these bodies of water here. It's really also interesting. Another message that I'm getting is that travel is important to you seeing different types of people. Yeah, and maybe reading up on it, on how to deal with that type of person, um, and also being unaffected, as I'm seeing here. Keeping the focus mostly on yourself and giving the other person time to grow. Yeah. So with the eccentricity and the discovery, it's really interesting. I want to get another clarifier for this, what the spirit trying to say. And two cards came out. Thank you. So we have not unsuccessful plans and we have bull. Mm -hmm. So when this person is being stubborn, <clears throat> looks like here you should check out of the situation. Yeah, so because it will be unsuccessful if you just try to give, give, give. Yeah, it will be unsuccessful. So just try to let go of resentments. Maybe it's a parental figure you have in your life who's very controlling and bullish with the ram. Yeah. So the nine of wands is what this burden could be about, that you've had challenges in your life. So get out there. Don't let them keep you trapped in this eight of swords energy. And express yourself. The eccentricity card, be more selfish, is what I'm also seeing. And take this with humor is another uh, download that I'm receiving. So pile number four, these were your messages of your soul's purpose in this lifetime. If you resonated with it, do let me know. I love to get your messages and take care of yourself. Please do like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, pile four.